A Little Golden Book, The Pokey Little Puppy's First Christmas. By Justine Corman, illustrated by Jean Chandler. Are you ready? Here we go. Four little puppies tumbled out of bed one morning and ran to their breakfast bowls. They counted themselves. One, two, three, four. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy? He wa they wondered. Pokey was still fast asleep. His mother nudged him and said, Come on, Pokey. Today is Christmas Eve. Pokey yawned and stretched. Even on a special day like Christmas Eve, he was still Pokey. Oh, look. Pat, Pickles, Penny, Polly, Pokey. All their names begin with P. Pokey's family, the McCrays, were off to the woods this morning to find a tree, and the puppies were going along too. Pokey ran to catch up. Then, Pokey smelled something. He slowed down to see what it could be. Oh, well, let's see what it is. That's when Pokey st me tumble stumbled, slipped and slid down into a deep, dark hole. Help! Help! He cried. Wouldn't someone come to help him out of the slippery, slidey hole? I'll help you, said a friendly voice. My name is Herman. Pokey looked up to see a young skunk peering over the edge of the hole. Herman climbed down into the hole beside Pokey and pushed Pokey up out of the hole. Good old Herman. Whoops. <laughs> you smell funny, said Pokey. Herman sniffed. <laughs> you smell funny too, he said. Let's play. Herman led Pokey to a frozen pond and the two new friends slid back and forth across the cold, shiny ice. What fun! Who'd ever thought we'd see the day that a puppy would become friends with a skunk? <laughs> Over in the woods, the McCrays had found the perfect Christmas tree near a hollow log. Mr. McCray raised his hat, raised his axe and whack, whack, whacked until crack, the tree fell. The four little puppies barked excitedly. Pokey heard his sister Pickles call. Pokey! Come on, Pokey! He was sorry to have to say goodbye to his new friend. It's easy to find me, said Herman. I live in a hollow log just over that hill. Pokey ran through the snowy woods toward home. Suddenly, he saw something. Pokey stopped to sniff the strange object up and, up and down. It was an old red rubber boot. The boot was too wonderful to leave behind, so Pokey dragged it all the way home. You're late, Pokey's mother scolded gently when he came through the gate. See what I found, exclaimed Pokey. His mother shook her head and said firmly, You can't take that mussy, muddy old me that messy, muddy old boot into the house. Sadly, Pokey left the boot by the garden gate. After dinner, the puppies helped decorate the Christmas tree. When the tree was glowing with, with winking, blinking lights and shimmery glass balls, 
Pokey's mother told her puppies all about Christmas. And to celebrate this day, we give each other presents, she said at last. Then she sent the puppies to bed. Pokey, of course, was the last to reach the cozy cushion where the puppies slept. His brothers and sisters soon fell asleep, dreaming of rubber balls, biscuits, and bones. But Pokey stayed awake, thinking sadly about his red rubber boot. Aw, oh, Pokey, I'm sure something will work out. On Christmas morning, the puppies raced to the tree and found presents just for them. Pokey tore open his package. My boot, he cried happily, and it's all shiny and clean. See, Pokey, I told you things would work out. After breakfast, a gentle snow began to fall. Pokey's brothers and sisters went off to play in the meadow. Pokey, please don't be late for Christmas dinner, said Pokey's mother. Pokey ran out the gate, across the meadow, and into the woods to find Herman. It took a long time, but Pokey finally found Herman. He was wet and cold and miserable. What happened? asked Pokey. Herman pointed to a crushed hollow log. <laughs> That was my home, <laughs> sniffed Herman. The McCrays had crushed it when they had crushed it accidentally when they cut down their Christmas tree. Oh, poor Herman. Where's he going to live now? Pokey felt sorry for Herman. The little skunk was alone in the cold, snowy woods, and he had no home. So Pokey took Herman home with him. Pokey's mother was surprised to find that her puppy had made friends with a skunk. But Pokey's mother felt sorry for Herman, too. That night, she let him sleep in the doghouse she and her puppies shared in the summer. And Pokey gave up his warm, cozy bed in the McCrae's house to keep his friend company. Aww, that's nice. <laughs> the next morning, the most amazing thing happened. The pokey little puppy was the first one out of bed. Where in the world is that pokey little puppy? Everyone wondered. The puppies and their mother and Herman followed Pokey's tracks in the cool, crunchy snow, in the cold, crunchy snow. They went out the gate, across the meadow, and right to the edge of the wintry woods. Come and look! Look at Herman's new home! called Pokey. Why, it's your boot! exclaimed Pokey's mother. Merry Christmas, Herman, said Pokey even if it is a day late. Pokey's mother was very proud of her puppy. It was only his first Christmas, but Pokey had already learned the best gifts of, of all are the ones you give. The end. So remember, even if you have to sacrifice your gifts, you know, like give them up for someone else, just remember, you did it for a good cause. And the best presents of all are not the ones you get, but the ones you give. See you later. Bye.